Black Mesa is unique in all of gaming history in that it's a fan remake of the original Half-Life that Valve has actually allowed to be sold as its own full game. That's unheard of. It is unquestionably great to have a way to experience such a seminal first-person shooter with a little bit less of its 22 years of accumulated dust. That said, the project was in the works for so long, eight years, that now that it's finally finished, it feels like it's a prime candidate for its own remake to bring it up to 2020 standards. As someone who hasn't replayed Half-Life since Valve ported it to the Source engine in 2004, playing Black Mesa and fighting off a familiar interdimensional invasion was like putting on some smudged up rose-colored glasses. Everything looks a lot better than it originally did, but not as good as I willfully misremembered. Human character models aren't quite up to the standard that Valve set with Half-Life 2 in 2004, let alone the ones they're about to release in Half-Life Alex. and textures are pretty rough in a lot of places. The most jarring thing is the loading screens, which, just like in 1998, too frequently freeze the action as you're walking down a hallway for about 5 seconds, even on an SSD. Oof. Even so, what made the original game so brilliant is brought out and highlighted even more in this version. Welcome liberties are taken to cut out annoying segments and add more of what works. There are more NPC interactions and tons of environmental storytelling. Could have been a lot worse. Wait, what? It makes the Black Mesa research facility feel more like a real, lived-in, or at least worked-in place. It's great to have physics here as well. After Half-Life 2, it's hard to imagine a Half-Life game without them. And the weapons? They're still as good as ever. The crowbar is absurd but useful in a pinch, but what really stands out for me is the loud and powerful 357 Magnum. Easily one of the best pistols of all time. The sniper crossbow packs a similarly weighty punch. Who doesn't love the guided RPG launcher? And then there's the Ghostbuster-style glue-on gun, which just wrecks everything, along with other solid conventional weapons. Black Mesa isn't really a hard game as far as combat goes. Thanks to his iconic hunting vest orange power suit, our boy Gordon is such an absolute beefcake tank when he's fully charged up that he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with just about anything short of an actual tank. And the run-and-gun combat is still a lot of fun. No, the soldiers you fight are no longer a wonder of AI like you might remember them from back in the day, but outside of a few artificial brain farts, they usually put up a good fight and die well. The mix of alien creatures, soldiers, super speedy spec op troops, and bigger stuff is really exemplary to this day, and headcrab zombies will never not be creepy. Most of the time, though, you're sorting out how to get from point A to point B, often with very vague instructions. The puzzles are generally smart and varied, outside of a few obnoxious jumping sections, but it's awfully easy to get lost in these maze-like levels. It's a good thing Black Mesa is so atmospheric to explore. A few times, I've gotten pretty thoroughly stuck and had to resort to consulting YouTube walkthroughs. Only a few of those instances made me facepalm over how obvious the solution was. Most of the time, it's more like, how the heck was I supposed to figure that out? Taking into account getting lost and groping around for a bit, you're probably looking at around 15 or 20 hours to play through it. The completely reimagined Zen section is definitely the best looking of all of Black Mesa, which makes sense because it's the most recently made and can only really be an improvement over the lifeless floating rocks of the original. It's very much its own distinctively alien setting, and exploring it was novel even for someone who's played all the Half-Life games. Black Mesa also includes the multiplayer modes, but basically no one is playing them at this point, so they don't matter. Whether you played Half-Life back in the day or not, Black Mesa is definitely the best way to experience one of the crown jewels of first-person shooter history. It doesn't look like a 2020 remake, because it's not really, but it still makes great use of the distinctively creepy atmosphere and excellent combat that left such a mark on this genre. And what better way to prepare for Valve finally returning to the Half-Life universe? For more, check out our coverage of Half-Life Alex, and for everything else, stick with IGN.